Sorensen coming in with one loss. He lost last week in overtime to Colica from Oklahoma State. That's his only loss since these two met last year in the Garden. Which was really a, a match that was pretty much dominated by Rutherford. 10-1, to 1, uh, Rutherford major decision in the finals. And Rutherford last year was certainly on a roll. He ended up uh, really putting a lot of just heavy hand pressure on all of his opponents. So tough in the top position. You know, Brandon Sorensen, you know, he hasn't had a flashy start to this year, but he is a tough out, right? And from a lower seed, he's at the maybe even more dangerous because you can't overlook this guy of how difficult he is to score on. And he's got nearly 100% finish when he gets on the shot that he likes. And Rutherford in below the knee on that attack. Good work by rolling the shoulder back into the, the, uh, the hamstring right there. Gets the collects the far ankle. That's good work. Rutherford is right on top, and the escape by Sorensen. The quick escape by Sorensen, two to one. You know what, that's a momentum builder right there because in the past, Rutherford has been able to own the top position. To get that quick escape, he's gotta be a confidence builder for Sorensen. And he's a confidence builder for anybody that gets an escape on this guy. He got great legs. Remember when he burst onto the scene, a dual meet that we did with Ohio State, and he was able to beat Logan Steber as, as a true freshman. true freshman when it looked like Logan was certainly unbeatable and went on to a... And he went on to be unbeatable after yeah, that. Yeah, he was. He woke him up, but uh, the great champ, the world champion. Now a world champion. Logan Steber cer certainly making the USA proud. That's a, this the nice single leg there by Sorensen. Again, and the confidence of getting out from underneath. He's on the shot that he likes. Is he going to collect that far leg? Yes, he does. And he pulls the trigger, scores a takedown for the first time against Rutherford last year. It was 14 to 1. Didn't score a takedown. All big, even. big. All even, Tim. It's game on. Both guys firing away. Uh, and, and, and wrestlers at this level scoring within the first two minutes. Takedown attempt. All the way by Rutherford. Fought off pretty well by Sorensen. Sorensen's never beaten Zane Rutherford. He considers this a huge opportunity in front of the uh, Hawkeye packed house here at Carver High but Hawkeye. I don't see an empty seat. Sorensen moving uh, his feet more. Uh, Lattery, he, he's, uh, he's really moving pretty good. Well, you're right, Jim. The key for Sorensen here is moving and wrestling to his positions, not Zane's. And, and, and part of it is getting collecting a few morsels of, of, of riding time yourself to say, be able to go back underneath him. Because you're going to need another escape. And certainly a takedown, maybe at this stage of the match, to pull the upset. And as far as Rutherford goes, you know, he's always on the offense. He's always heavy hands. He's getting after it. And a lot of times when you see in these matches where Sorensen will would be pretty flat-footed here with him. But as you mentioned, Tim, he is moving his feet well. Really doing the job, and he's done something that he knew he had to do that he hadn't done, and that's score offensively. Yeah, and so, you know, guys like this got beat last week, tight match, two seconds of riding time, I believe, it was the difference between the two wrestlers. You know, come back the next week, hey, I'm going to free myself up a little bit. And, and uh, I think he's... I think you make a really good point there in that phrase. I think he feels freed up here, and he's wrestling like it. We're talking about Sorensen, who's taken down Rutherford for the first time ever. 4-3 match here, a couple of takedowns. He's still, he's still a long ways away from the victory because you've got to get either an escape or a takedown. But this is the time in the match to get it, and then and Sorensen done a nice job of fighting it off. Kind of a lot like we saw in the first match with Gilman. Rutherford was in pretty deep. And those are the shots that, uh, that Rutherford was able to get on Sorensen all last year. Sorensen out of Cedar Falls, Iowa, Denver High School. Rutherford, Benton, Pennsylvania, native in Benton High School. 
wrestling for their home state schools. Boy, these guys go, I really love what you see. There's no wasted, everybody's trying to improve. All right, we finished the second period. A rematch of last year's NCAA championships. Decision time. Sorensen is going to go down. I like this call because it's uh, going down right here because you're going to learn more about yourself in this situation. Nice job of hand fighting. There, it comes inside. Crowd knows what's happening here. Nice job, beautiful job. Rutherford feeling the pressure as far as he's getting pushed here, but he's pushing right back. Yeah, now that right leg comes in, and you don't want to don't want to see that. And he comes back up. He's looking to get the stalemate call. Head and arm. The referee's going to call stalemate. See, that's the pacifier for the national champion, Rutherford. He likes to bring that leg in. He can bring it on both sides, but he's going to bring that leg in from the right side if he can. And he knows it. Like this tripod position. One knee up. Gets him high, gets the escape. Gets the escape inside. Riding time, there is none. It's four to four. It's gonna be one on the feet right here. Sorensen closing the gap from last year's 4-0 and 10-1 losses. This is gonna be a battle the next minute. Maybe more. They are hammering on each other, keeping great position. Who's gonna be the one to find that slight opening? And the cut off to the double lift, out two points. Second takedown, the only two takedowns Rutherford's had all year against him. Yeah, but he's back in on a shot. Boy, what a shot by Rutherford, because he comes up, he didn't lay there. Yep, and he's got the near leg hooked. He's got to go ahead and reach into the far side to be able to spread him out a little bit. Gets Man, to the far ankle look at himself. That offense but how Rutherford. about the answer here by Rutherford? That's what I'm saying. Wow. And right now, you can go ahead, he'll take the count. He has not been warned for stalling. Warning, because you can't stay down below the hips for five counts. He's gotten the first two, finds himself in a scramble situation, clinging on hard. Up, he escaped. escaped. Going Ten to seconds time. left. The crowd's on their feet. Seven to seven, and they're gonna put a minute on the clock. It's overtime. Here we go, one minute on the clock. First score wins. Sudden victory at 149 pounds. True to form, these two warriors are out there going at it right away, taking space. And like you said, Tim, early in the match, Sorensen has been moving his feet well. 38 seconds, half shot. Sorensen, both these guys have stayed in the center of the circle. Rutherford does have a warning on him, but he's staying right in the circle. And he 20 knows he seconds has a, left. And he knows he has a slight advantage here. I say slight because Sorensen's been able to get the two escapes, the three escapes, excuse me. And if nothing happens here in the next 10 seconds, we'll go to the two. 30-second tiebreakers. That's what it looks like we'll do. They'll put 30 seconds on the clock. Already Sorensen's two takedowns more than he's ever had against Rutherford. Right now, it's a Bronco ride. Good spiral ride here. He's got the near side half, and he's able to duck back out of that there. That's good work there by Rutherford. Only 11 seconds of riding time. That becomes a factor. Oh, both are a little wobbly, and who could blame them? They've really been going at it. Sorensen's showing up tonight, and the crowd is too. They're on their nice. feet. Sit out there. This is how you try to get out of legs and out of the crab right position right there. He's being stretched out a little bit. You can see Rutherford pushing him back with the upper body. He's digging those ankles in. Got to be able to push it away. Hey, and turn it out. And it's eight to eight. 
Riding time advantage for Rutherford if that comes into play, but they'll go to another sudden victory. One minute on the clock, back to the second sudden victory period. I'll tell you what, Rutherford is not the only national champion that's had a hard time coming back in this environment here, getting a win. But he has battled, both these guys have. One headlock position, spin around. Good work by Sorensen. Good work, stuff in the head. Look for Rutherford to get back in on that single leg where the knee pad is. 30 seconds. One of these guys going to shoot. Nice job of squaring up. Squaring up by uh, Sorensen after the shot. Rutherford is coming around. 15 seconds left. In the second sudden victory, the rematch of last year's NCAA Finals. Last year it was 10 to 1, a major decision by Rutherford. Right now, we're into the second sudden victory of overtime. Nine and a half minutes of wrestling. Gladiators going at it. Going to try to uh, get out quickly here. Doing a great job of getting out. Got the now leg. He's got, now yep. he's got to push that leg away and stand on it. Switch the hips and come into the arm that's around the waist. Rutherford is just so tough there because he pulls you out of your comfort zone right there, gets the legs back on top. So he's going to ride Sorensen out. The interesting how so and so Sorensen has to because he cannot gain he cannot gain the win here. Yeah, he's going to go he's, ahead. He's going to just give the give, intentional give release. Give the intentional release because yeah. the riding time advantage, which is the criteria it would come down to if it was tied is in Rutherford's favor. He's giving them the escape. They're going to his feet. Sorensen, a takedown, could do it. Remember, it's a match. It's not sudden victory. He's behind by one. Rutherford getting that underhook there on that side. Sorensen pummeling back in. He wants to free himself up, get to that back leg. And remember, you know, you know, Rutherford has warning on him. Yep, and the, the champion staying right there in the center of the circle. Not going to pursue Sorensen. He's going to stay right there in the center. Man. That's it. What a match. What a match. You just want to stand up and clap. And, you know, I'll tell you what. You can hear a few disappointed fans, but there's a lot of them clapping right now because that was just a great exhibition. That was a war. Just a physical war between... Zane Rutherford, your winner by decision in overtime.